Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and every pronoun that's possible. It is I again, Ancient Swan, back for about 3 minutes or something precisely. So what ancient map are we doing today? You should know. It's in the title, Agersborg. We're doing Agersborg. What is the story of Agersborg? Well, once upon a time, in the faraway land of Denmark, where the winds blow fierce and the herring swim free, there stood a mighty Viking ring fortress called Agersborg. Agersborg is the largest of Denmark's former Viking ring fortresses and one of the largest archaeological sites in Denmark. It consists of a circular rampart surrounded by a ditch. Four main roads arranged in a cross connect the fortress centre with the rampart's outer ring. Agersborg was built around 980 AD by King Harald Bluetooth, yes Bluetooth, no, he didn't invent the wireless technology that connects your phone to your speaker. He was, however, a king with a tooth, and it was blue, so that became his nickname. The fortress was strategically placed by the Limfjord, which was a crucial waterway for trade and raids, imagining a Viking version of a pit stop. Boats would pull up, out would pour hefty warriors looking to stretch their legs and maybe pillage a monastery or two before lunch. During its heyday, Agersborg was bustling with activity. There were warriors sharpening their swords, blacksmiths hammering away, and bakers baking bread, because even Vikings need carbs. But, just like all good things, Agersborg's time in the light did not last forever. By the 11th century, the fortress had lost its strategic importance and fell into disrepair. It became the medieval equivalent of a ghost town, where the only visitors were curious cows and the occasional sheep. In modern times, Agersborg is an archaeological site, drawing history buffs and Viking enthusiasts from around the world. They come to marvel at the ancient ruins, imagine the grand feasts, and perhaps take a selfie with a reconstructed lighthouse. The ruins here stand as an amazing testament to the Viking Age, when beards were big, swords were bigger, and fortresses were circular. And so, you beautiful human you, that's the tale of Agersborg. A fortress of fierce warriors, grand feasts, and a king with a Bluetooth. And why are we looking at these images now? Because I built a map for it. That's why. As always, this map was built so I could reimagine history. If Agersborg had never been abandoned, what might it look like today? For me, it looks like this, but you build your own city. Follow the link in the description below to grab the map for your own game. Now, how about some map information? Well, that would look just like this. Theme. The one where Denmark is. Climate, perfect for a Viking. Latitude, northern. Buildable area, between 80 and 82%. Outside connections, most of them. Natural resources, loads. Terrain, perfect for a city. That's all boys and girls, thanks for watching. Hello if this was your first time, hello again if it wasn't. And goodbye, cause I'm Ofsky. Video ends now. Oh, oh, aye. Don't forget to subscribe. It's the only thing keeping me alive. And that's all. Bye again. Bye. Bye 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 bye.